from the New York Post. Jurors reach verdict in Manhattan hush money case against Donald Trump. By, by the way, wasn't this a misdemeanor? Wasn't this a misdemeanor until that Alvin Bragg, he's like, uh, somehow the laws were changed retroactively, and then they, they, they bumped it up to a uh, felony. It's absurd. Yeah. Well, we can't prove that Donald Trump ordered Cohen to pay off Stormy Daniels, who herself said there was never even any affair <laughs> on live TV, but somehow now there was an affair. Uh, but, you know, Cohen himself is a convicted felon and liar, proven liar, and uh, he is admitted to being a thief. What did he steal, 30 grand from Trump? <laughs> but somehow, somehow, we're going to take his word that uh, Trump ordered him to make the payment to Stormy. Yeah. So a Manhattan jury has reached a verdict in the historic criminal hush money case against Donald Trump and are expected to read out the decision shortly. Yeah, this, so this is old news. He's already been found guilty. The 12 jurors, seven men, five women, five women, oh, lovely, reached a decision on the 34 counts of falsifying business records uh, after deliberating for 12, only 12 hours? How do you find somebody guilty on, how do you hash out and discuss 34? Four separate counts in 12 hours. Oh, right. Only three of them have to actually find him. Only one of them has to say. It, it, so, so uh, you know, all 12 of these jurors, each juror would only have to agree on three of the individual charges. And if the jurors themselves didn't agree on the vast majority of charges competitively, it wouldn't matter. All they have to do is agree... That, they, they don't even, even have to come to a... I don't understand this. This is so odd. Seems like everything has been purposely designed to attach as many charges as possible simply for the effective character assassination to the low IQ voter, low IQ viewer that only gets their information from CNN and Fox News, or not even Fox News, even though Fox News is just a, a controlled opposition lefty shill outlet itself now the tucker carlson is gone so there's trump he don't look too happy but he does look defiant we the jury have a verdict do you we would like an extra 30 minutes to fill out the forms yeah 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 <laughs> the panelists are expected to be brought into the manhattan supreme courtroom shortly to announce their verdict yeah yeah the presumptive presidential nominee is accused of trying to cover up that he how is this election interference by the way hasn't google and facebook and what was formerly known as twitter before elon musk bought it and uh, hillary clinton i had all these people and with the steel dossier isn't all of that or having all these people actually committed interference in an election but nobody is charging them well they need to get charged the presumptive nominee is accused of trying to cover up that he had his then lawyer michael cohen pay stormy daniels 130 grand doesn't she owe him five hundred thousand dollars still by the way doesn't she have a vested interest in getting him convicted so that she could maybe hopefully possibly get out of that uh, half million dollars that she owes him <laughs> That she's refused to pay why isn't she in jail for refusing to pay that money uh prosecutors with manhattan district attorney alvin bragg's office claimed trump's campaign illegally benefited from the payment to daniels uh-huh that just because they benefited that's not a crime why he has to have actually ordered the dude to do it if he didn't know about it okay maybe he benefited but he didn't commit a crime which exceeded the legal limit that an individual can make to a candidate. Wait a second. The, the, mm, okay. Yeah, but that's not a campaign contribution. Trump 77 has denied the charges. Well, you know, his word doesn't mean anything, right? He's a uh, terrible uh, human being and he uh, doesn't respect pronouns and, uh, you know, he's just a bad guy. He claims he's the victim of a political witch hunt by Democrats to keep him from getting reelected. Uh, I would agree. Yeah, full of Lewinsky. Mm. She's not even that good looking abroad. He needs better taste in women. <laughs> 
He had to be in the Manhattan Supreme Court around four days a week. Yeah, he can't campaign. That's the whole point. They want to tie him up in legal proceedings and get him an ankle uh, monitor so that he can't campaign for president. For nearly seven weeks with a criminal trial, the first faced by a former or current U.S. president, Cohen and Daniels are both key witnesses. Cohen, how? These people are proven liars. Didn't she go on a bunch of different talk shows? Stormy Daniels. On one, she's saying there was never any affair. Another, she's saying there was an affair. There was no payoff. There was a payoff. Cohen is a, a thief and a liar. But somehow we should trust them. Convicted criminals and proven liars and not Trump who has no criminal record. Oh, until now. Daniel's bombshell testimony included graphic detail about how she allegedly had a brief encounter with Trump in 2006. I could care less. Why don't we talk about uh, Joe Biden's uh, sexual past? Why don't we talk about his daughter's diary, huh? About how he uh, diddled his daughter. Allegedly! I'm not saying he did it. That's alleged. In a, bi in a diary that has been now authenticated as being, is it, what's her name, Ashley Biden, his daughter, yeah. My daddy used to take showers with me, and he made extra sure to get my privates with the bar of soap. It tickled. <laughs> Allegedly, but nobody wants to talk about that. Oh, he's, uh, that's okay. He eats ice cream, and he's demented, and uh, we like him in his politics, so whatever horrible, evil things he did as a pedo, you know, uh, that's okay, because anyway, we have a soft spot for these people. We call them minor attracted individuals. <laughs> They're born that way. They can't control it. It's perfectly, completely, 100% okay. You know, uh, morality is relative after all. Did you know that? There's no objective morality. <laughs> the way you angry at Trump. By your own metrics, he did nothing wrong. Yeah, but we want power, you see. So we're going to use our relativistic view of morality to label him as evil. <laughs> These people. Uh, so there you go, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jurors reached a, a unanimous verdict. Trump is guilty, apparently. Even though they didn't have to come to a unanimous verdict, which is the first time I've ever seen that in the history of the world. The, 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 well, the history of America, anyway. Only three of you have to agree. <laughs> Why do you even have 12 people there then? Why didn't you just have a jury of one? Huh? Just bring in one lefty goofball activist to sit on the jury. Why don't you just do that? It seems like the other 11 people and the alternates were superfluous. If all they have to do is agree on one charge, the other 33 are automatically rubber stamp guilty because you've agreed on one that's literally what happened oh uh, you're, you're misrepresenting things realist that's not how it happened that's not the case yeah it was listen to the judge's instructions well you know you all don't have to unanimously agree on a charge just four just three you gotta agree if three you agree it's okay just so long as all 12 of you agree that he did something wrong the other 33-somethings, those also get included. <laughs> what? Where are we living now? How is this okay in America? What's going on here? What kind of kangaroo court is this? You got the media and all these idiots on The View, and all these fools at MSNBC and CNN, the clown news network, patting themselves on the back and cheering, not realizing that our republic is now dead because this can now happen here, which sets a precedent. So it's going to be like a domino effect. And that's it. That's it, baby. We're done. America's over. Well, let me know what you think in the comments. And uh, give me a like, give me a, you know, subscription, subscribe to my channel, and uh, whatever. I'm, I'm really... <laughs> Not a happy camper. I see the truth. This is the end of our republic.